בפרק ג' פסוק ד' נדמה מגילה ויגידו להמן לירוס ויעמדו דברי מרדכי and they told Haman to see if the words of Mordechai would stand what words? כי הגיד להם אשר הוא יהודי because he told them that he was Jewish who told whom what? asks the Chesam Soifer what difference does it make? that Mordechai didn't bow down to Haman because he's Jewish also why is it necessary to tell Haman that Mordechai was Jewish? Haman was sold as a slave to Mordechai that's what the Gemara in Megillah the Ptetzalam Ud Aleph says so then he know his boss he didn't know his master was Jewish answers the Chesam Soifer Chazal say that Haman was sold with an Evet Knani to Mordechai and as such Mordechai had was required to circumcise him and therefore Haman now is obligated to fulfill mitzvahs like a Jewish woman. And the Gemara says that whenever Haman passed by Mordechai will hold up the document of sale that he purchased Haman's with and when the servants of the king saw this they tried to verify the words of Mordechai who had said that he referring to Haman was technically a Jew. In other words, what the Pasuk says, Vayagidu lehaman lirot, the servants of Ham, the servant of the kids of the king said to Haman, Liros, they wanted to see if the words of Mordechai would stand, because Mordechai told him that he, not Mordechai himself, he was talking about Haman, he was pointing to Haman and saying, He, Asher Hu Yehudi, that he is Jewish. And since in Eicha Rabba in the Medish, we learned that being called a Jew was a terrible insult. That's what got Haman infuriated with Mordechai.